This pill can stop the spread of one of the world's worst viruses. Studies suggest Truvada cuts the risk of contracting HIV by up to 92%. It's become popular around the world, especially among people considered at high risk, such as gay and bisexual men, and people who inject drugs. But a new study in Australia has found that the use of Truvada has led some gay men to stop using condoms altogether. It also says that gay men who weren't even on the drug stopped using protection too. Despite that riskier sexual behaviour, the study suggests that, overall, HIV infections fell. So how does Truvada work? The drug stops the virus that causes AIDS from making copies of itself and spreading by protecting the body's T-cells. Truvada is used as part of a preventive approach called pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP. But there's a catch. For the drug to be effective, it must be taken every day. We need to find a way that somebody who is otherwise healthy takes a pill every day to protect him or herself. And this is not for months, this is not for three months, this is for years. And it can't protect against other sexually transmitted infections, such as gonorrhea and syphilis. Doctors say these are now on the rise. The World Health Organization says nearly 37 million people are living with HIV, and most of those are from African countries. This raises another issue. The majority of people using Truvada are white and middle class. The cost of 30 tablets can be up to $1,500. That's simply unaffordable for most people. It's an absolute scandal that the prices are so high that even wealthy national health services are saying they can't afford the costs of these drugs. And if a user of Truvada becomes infected with HIV, some scientists have warned it's possible that HIV could mutate to become drug resistant. So if it's not the magic bullet that some might assume, could it unintentionally lead to more cases of sexually transmitted diseases? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.